Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, good to be back with you again. we got the Tigers of the Browns for you here today. The only reason we're seeing this is because the uh, Tigers happen to be three games out of first place after the Yankees won their little losing streak. It's going to be Hoot Evers up there for uh, the uh, Tigers. Takes a the ball, then another ball, two, another count on him as uh, Ned Garver misses the uh, plate. Two and one now as it's fouled back. Two and two. Evers swings and misses that one, and there's strike three. Garver with a good uh, sinker, and that uh, gets him for the first out. Here's Paul Campbell. Paul uh, takes a ball, one and oh, the count. There's another one inside, two and no the count, and there's a strike, two and one now the count on Campbell, and he hits a little uh, high fly over to center field. Seavers has it for the second now that'll bring up George Kell. Kell takes the ball, one and oh is now the count, one and one as that one was fouled back. There's a sinker and it's just low, it's two and one, and there's a little bouncer off the mound. Pulling Greeny, the uh, shortstop has it, throws the first for the out, we go to the bottom of the first. It's Jerry Pretty. Jerry Pretty up there, and he fouls one off, it's 0 and 1. There's a, another foul ball, 0-2, oh up against uh, Ted Gray. Gray with a 3-2 and two record. 1-2 and two the count now, 2-2 two and two as he misses again. There's a little pop-up over to Wirtz in right field for the first out. And that will bring up uh, Lee Moss. Moss up there takes the strike and then fouls one off. 0-2 oh now the count on Moss, and there's strike three. Called out looking at that one, and here comes Dick Kokos. And Kokos hits one over the glove of Lipon into a left field. Evers plays that one poorly. Cocos ends up uh, getting a double on that. That'll bring up Bob Dillinger. He pops one up, and uh, Campbell, the first baseman, doesn't look like he has it, but does anyway, and uh, that's the third out. Here is the top of the second inning, and it's uh, Johnny Groth. Hits one over to right field. Cocos has it for the first out. Here is uh, Vic Wirtz taking a strike. Owen won the count. There's a ball to him, 1-1. One one. Wirtz hitting 361. Fouls one back, 1-2 one now the count. Sinker outside for a ball. It's 2-2, two and, two. and hits one over to the opposite field. Platt has it for the out. Two away. That'll bring up Bob Swift. Swift now uh, takes the slider outside for a strike, and then there's one foul the way. Owen, oh, two now the count. There's one that's popped up, and it's going to be over to Graham, the first baseman, for the third out. We go to the bottom of the second. Here is uh, Jack Graham. Jack Graham hitting 297, takes a ball, then hits a little ground ball over to Campbell at first. He flips over to Gray, covering the bag for the first out. That brings up Whitey Platt, who takes a ball. And then another one inside for a ball, two, no the count. There's ball three, three, no, no the count on Platt, and that one was high. And uh, he takes his base. That'll bring up Roy Seavers. One on, one out, bottom of the second. Seavers swings and misses the first pitch he sees, and then swings and misses on a second one. It's 0 and 2 now, the count. And that will uh, bring up the next pitch. 1 and 2 now, as that one missed. And 2 and 2 is Gray missed again. 2 and 2 the count. And uh, that one was away. Seavers swings and misses for the strikeout. Second strikeout there for Gray. Up now, Eddie Pell Pellegrini takes a strike, and then a ball. 1 and 1 the count. And swings and misses a 1, 1 and 2 now the count. It's high and inside for a ball. It's 2 and 2. And uh, he's swung and missed that one for strike three. We go to the top of the third inning. Here's Neil Barry for uh, the Tigers. Barry uh, swings and misses a 1, 0 oh, and 1 the count. Chases one low. It's 0 oh, and 2. And checks the swing on that one. Foul tip can't be hold on to. And uh, there's a curveball that misses. Another one that misses high. 2 and 2 now the count. There's a, a foul ball there. Pilling Greeny running over to the left side trying to grab that one, but it's just out of his reach. Here's another pop-up, and it's uh, the third baseman, Dillinger, who goes over and makes the catch and leans into the dugout to get it for the first out. Johnny Lipon now takes a strike and then a ball, one and one the count. There's a grounder wide at first and um, into that hole for a base hit. First hit of the game for the Tigers, and that'll bring up Ted Gray, who tries to bunt and misses it. Oh, and one the count and misses that one as well. Oh, and two now. And uh, one and two is that pitch missed, and that was outside for a ball, two and two the count. And uh, he went around too far in that one for strike three. Second strikeout for Garver. That'll bring up Hoot Evers, who takes the ball and then misses, or another pitch misses, another one misses. Three, no, now the count on, e on uh, Evers. And there's ball four that comes in on him, and uh, he uh, takes his base. And it's uh, Paul Campbell now who takes a ball, and another ball, six straight balls by Garver. And uh, Campbell then swings and fouls one off, two and one the count. And there's one hit over to Dillinger at third. He throws over to the second baseman Pretty for the force out of second. We go to the bottom of the third inning, and it's Ned Garver here. Uh, and uh, he pops one up to the left side. Kell has it for the out, one away. And Jerry Pretty comes up and swings and misses at a fastball, 0 and one the count. That one was low, one and one now the count on Pretty. And there's a fastball too high, two and one the count. And there's one popped up, but out of play, two and two on Pretty. And that's ripped over to center field. That's a base hit that lands in front of Groth. Only the second hit of the game for the Browns, only the third hit of the game for anybody. And that'll bring a Bless Moss runner on at first base and one out. Pretty takes off, and uh, that's a foul fly ball over to right field. Wurtz has it for the out, and the hit and run doesn't work. Two outs now, and here's Dick Kokos, who takes a ball. One and oh, the count. And there's a strike. It's one and one on Kokos. And he belts that one to right field, and that one is deep. And that is gone and is off the foul pole, bounces back into the field, and the Browns have gone up 2 nothing. And here comes Bob Dillinger. Dillinger gets a little base hit off the end of his bat into center field, 
And that'll bring up Jack Graham now. And there's a strike in there to Graham and a, a ball, one and one out of the count on Graham. That's inside and just missed. Two and one out of the count on Graham. Count remains two and one. And uh, that one's driven into center field. And it gets over Gross' head. And that's going to be a double at least. And uh, Dillinger going to try to score. And he does get in there ahead of the throw. Three nothing now, St. Louis. Here comes uh, Whitey Platt. Not a bad uh, game here for the uh, Browns. And Platt finally pops one up over to Kell at the uh, third uh, left side on the th- right around uh, third base. And he grabs that for the out. We go to the top of the fourth. And here is George Kell. Kell, of course, American League batting uh, champion in real life in 1949, only hitting 263. He's got a 2-1 count on him. Now it's 3-1. and one. And there's one that's fouled back. Full count now on Kell. And there's a ground ball over to Pretty. Second baseman makes the play and throws the first for the out. One away. Johnny Groth now takes a strike and a ball. One and one now the count on Groth. And uh, there's a little fly ball over to shallow right center field. And that one bounces apparently. And uh, it's cut off there by Severs. And Groth decides to stretch that one for a double. And he makes it. And uh, so the uh, Tigers with their second hit have a runner on his second up here for Vic Words. Words can make us a close game quickly. Two and no, the count on him. Two and one as he fouls one back. He's hitting 358. Swinging and missing that one. Two and two is the count. There's a little uh, ground ball over to Pretty. Backhands that one. Throws over to first for the out. Two away. And it's Bob Swift. Bob Swift takes a ball high, 1-0 oh, the count on Bob, and there's a breaking ball in their first strike. It's 1-1, one and, one, and he rips that one over to deep center field, and Severs has it for the out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Roy Severs up there will take a ball, and then lines went over third base, just foul, 1-1 one oh, one the count, and there's one around the knees, but that's called a ball, 2-1 and one on Severs. He's jammed with that one, fouls it back, 2-2 two two the count. There's a ground ball over to Barry. Barry has it and throws the first for the out, one away. Eddie Pellegrini again. He uh, takes a ball, then another ball, two, another count on Pellegrini, and there's a strike finally, two and one on him. A little ground ball over to Lipon at short, makes the play and throws to first for the out, two away, and it's Ned Garver who takes the ball. One and another count now on the pitcher, and he hits a ground ball over again to a shortstop. Lipon has it, throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the fifth inning, there's another fast one, and it said Neil Berry takes a strike, and then a ball, one and one the count on Berry. That's uh, fouled into Moss's glove. One and two the count. That one just misses outside. It's two and two on Barry. And he hits a ground ball over to the right side. And Graham, no, Garver, rather, tries to grab that one, flip it to Graham. And he ends up booting it anyway. And Barry's on safe at first with the, uh, on the air. And that'll bring up uh, Johnny Lipon. We'll see if Barry does any running. There's a ball in there to Lipon. One and no the count. Ball two. And we can see that Barry was trying to run. Two and no count now. Three and no oh as Lipon's missing the play. There's a sinker at the knees for a strike. It's three and one. That's fouled back. Full count now on Lipon. That's just outside. Ball four. And uh, tell you, Garver uh, having some problems here. He's struck out two and walked two. And that'll bring up Ted Gray, the pitcher. And he bunts. And he bunts the, that one beautifully over to Garver, who throws over to Pretty, covering at uh, first base. The only play he had. And we go to Wahoot uh, Evers. Now runners on at second and third. Only one out, top of the fifth. It's a three run ball game. Everso can turn this into a tie game in a second, and he muscles one into left field. That's going to be a base hit. That will score one at least, and Lipon's going to come around and try to score and see if Platt's throw can get him. They're going to have Evers go to second. We're throwing the home, though, and uh, the throw is not in time. Evers with the single reaches second base after scoring two, and that makes this a two to th- uh, three to two ball game, and there's still only one out here top of the fifth, and here comes Paul Campbell. And he gets a base hit in the center field, and that will score Evers easily. So just like that, that's how quick it is. Just like that, it's a uh, tie ball game. And here is George Kell. Kell on a little bit of a slump. Hits a ground ball over to Dillinger at third. Throws a pretty for one on to first four. The double play. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Kell has not been hitting. How about that? Here is Jerry Pretty. Fouls one off and then takes one inside. Breaking ball. One and one the count now. And there's a fastball above the letters. Two and one. There's another fastball high. Three and one on Pretty. That's blown away, and he takes his base, and that'll bring up Les Moss, runner on at first base. And there's one that misses high, 1-0 oh, the count on Moss, and that one's in the zone for a strike, 1-1. One and one. and uh, throw to first, nothing happening. There's a little uh, fly ball over to the left side. Evers has it for the out, one away. Here is uh, Dick Kokos, and uh, we'll see if we can get pretty to run. He goes, and that's a foul ball, 0-1 oh, the count on Kokos. And uh, count remains 0-1, oh, and, and that one is a ball. 1-1 one one now on Cocos. It's hit deep to center field, uh, but not deep enough, and Groth is there to grab it for the out. Two away, and it's Bob Dillinger. Bob Dillinger takes a strike and then is jammed inside, but went around, 0-2 oh, the count, and uh, fouls one off, still 0-2. Oh, There's one uh, over to Evers in left field for the uh, final out of the inning. We go to the top of the sixth, 3-3 three three ball game. Johnny Roth up there now takes the ball. Another change is too low. Two and no now the count. And there's one hit over to Platt in left field for the first out. And that'll bring up Vic Wirtz. Wirtz 0 for 2 today. 355 that average is dropping. And that one's hit to the gap in right field. And that's going to be a double there for Vic Wirtz as he comes in easily to second base. 
that'll bring up Bob Swift, and now we have to really pay attention and see what we're doing here as the Browns. There's a little ground ball over to the uh, left side, and Dillinger grabs it. Wurtz decides to go to third, and with Dillinger making the play, he can't, of course, get to the bag. Dillinger uh, decides to take third base. It's a uh, good base running is what the uh, play-by-play here says. I would call that very risky ba- base running, but um, I guess we can consider that to be a good play. I don't know. Personally, I look at that, and I think uh, that's a little bit uh, risky as far as I'm concerned, but... Um, I mean, you know, you be the judge, and uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a, it's a good play when it works, but if it doesn't work, it's not going to look so good for you. I mean, if he's uh, thrown out easily at third base. So um, do or die play, and he did, and uh, here comes uh, Barry, and he hits a little ground ball over to first base, and uh, it's going to be uh, the uh, first baseman, Graham, who flips over to Garver for the out, and uh, we go to the bottom of the six. So the Tigers do not capitalize on that good base running, and here comes Jack Graham. Graham uh, takes the strike. Owen won the count. Hits one deep to left field, and that's going to be in there for a double, and he's got it. Evers can't get there in time. That'll bring up Whitey Platt. Runner on at second base. Nobody out. Platt takes the strike. Fouls one off. 0-2 the count now on Whitey. It's a fastball high. 1-2 now the count on Whitey, and that's the wind over Campbell's head. That'll score the runner, and Whitey pulls in with the single. So the uh, Tigers can't make the Browns pay, but, boy, the Browns can uh, turn around and get the lead, and it's uh, 4-3 to now. Roy Seavers up there. Takes a fastball inside. 1-0 the count on Seavers. And there's ball 2 to him. 2-0. Fastball outside for a strike. 2-1 now the count on Seavers. There's one high. 3-1 on Roy. That's foul back. Full count now on Roy Seavers. And there's ball 4 that's called. Runners now in first and second. That'll bring up Eddie Pellegrini. Pellegrini takes a ball, and he's going to bunt here. Let's see. He'll bunt that one over towards third, and Kel makes the play, but can only go to first. Barry covering the bag of first base. That moves the runners up to second and third. That'll bring up Ned Garver. Now the question is, what do we do with Garver? Do we swing away? He hasn't hit anything at all this season. Do we try to bunt? Uh, Yeah, what do we do here? Up uh, four to three. Let's try to bunt. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. And there's a suicide squeeze, and that uh, doesn't fool anybody. Let's try it again. As bunted on a missed, and (laughs) Platt is thrown out of the plate. So that was, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. That's kind of what happens. This wasn't uh, such a great play. It wasn't such a great play for me. Poor managerial decision. And uh, there's a uh, pitch that gets away. One and two now the count on Garver. And that's hit into left field, and that is going to be in for a double. So Garver gets his first base hit in the game and does drive in the run. Boy, if we hadn't tried that suicide squeeze, he would be doing just great. And I'm just taking a quick look here. He did have a number of doubles in real life, so we're good. Jerry Pretty now running on at second base, takes the ball, 1-0 the count. There's one below the letters for a strike, 1-1. One one. Chopped towards third, but just foul. 1-2 and two the count. That's up outside, 2-2 two and two now on Pretty. Little ground ball over to Lipon. He has it, throws to first base for the out. We go to the top of the second, the seventh, sorry. And this will be Johnny Lipon. He takes a strike. 0 and 1 now the count on him. There's a ball in there now to Johnny. 1 and 1 the count. And that one is low. 2 and 1 now the count on Johnny. And he swings and misses a 1, 2 and 2. And that's a base hit to uh, center field. Lipon with a second hit and two at bats here in this game. And that'll bring up Aaron Robinson now, the pinch hitter. Aaron Robinson. Pinch hitting for the pitcher, takes a, a strike, and then a ball, 1-1 one and one the count on him. Runner on first base, there's one fouled away, it's 1-2. and two. That's a pitch low, 2-2 two and two now the count. And that's a breaking ball way inside. Garver goes the distance with him as well, and there's a little uh, ground ball over to Pellegrini. Flips over to Pretty for the force of second. No chance, for though, for the double play. I'll bring up Hoot Evers, who swings and misses a one. And there it is, Pellegrini to Pretty, and on back to Graham at first base for the double play. We go to the bottom of the seventh. No damage done by the Tigers. Here comes Les Moss. Les Moss up there now, and uh, he takes a ball outside. 1-0 the count. There's a fastball in there for a strike, and another ball. 2-1 and one now the count on Moss. There's one up high around his neck. 3-1 and one the count, and there's a ball downstairs, and uh, Moss will take his base at first, and that'll bring up Kokos. Takes a ball. 1-0 and oh the count now on Kokos, and that's inside. It's 2-0 and oh on him. There's a big bender outside, 3-0, and and Lou Kretlow, the uh, new pitcher, is not doing so well, and that one's hit into the corner in right field, and we're going to try to score Moss. And um, he is able to score easily. Coco's has to stay at second base. That'll bring up Bob Dillinger. It's a 6-3 to three lead now for the Browns. Hope you uh, like those brownies. And Dillinger takes the strike. And there's a uh, pitch in the dirt. No swing on it. 1-1 one one the count. That was close, but uh, just uh, outside. 2-1 and one now. And uh, that was up and in. 3-1 and one now the count on Dillinger. He takes a high strike. That was really high. Full count now. There's one hit over to Groth in center field for the first out. That'll bring up Jack Graham, still runner on at second base, and uh, Graham takes the ball. And there's a breaking ball low. 2-0 now the count. And there's a fastball on their first strike. It's 2-1 now on Graham, and he fouls another one back. 2-2 now the count on Jack. 
Um, and there's a little ground ball over to Lipon. It's short, and uh, Cocos can't go anywhere with it. The play is over to first base. There's two away now. I thought a little bit about bunting with Graham, but uh, up by three, it's, it's not really a good sign. One and one now the count on Platt. That's a little bit high. Two and one now is the count, and that's swung on a miss for a strike two and two. There's one low and outside for a ball. Full count now, and that's inside and low, and that will put runners on at first and second. And here comes Roy Seavers. Seavers up there now, and it takes a fastball inside. Want to know the count, and uh, there's a strike on him. It's one and one. Curve is outside, two and one the count now. And uh, there's a foul ball, two and two the count on Roy. That's one that misses inside. Full count on Roy, and uh, that is low. And there's another walk, third walk given up by Luke Crutlow, who hasn't even pitched a full inning yet. That'll bring up Eddie Pellegrini, and you, if you walk him, you're really in trouble. Oh, and too quickly the count on Pellegrini. That one's dribble in front of the plate, and it's a really good play there by Swift as he hops onto that one, throws over to first base, and just barely gets his man. We go to the top of the eighth inning, and uh, Garver, of course, still in there, throws a strike to the first hitter, Paul Campbell. And uh, there's a ball low, one and one now the count. And there's one popped up over to Cocos in right field. He's got it for the first out, one away. George Kell takes a strike, 0 and 1 the count. And there's a fly ball over to Whitey Platt and left for the second out, two away. And it's Johnny Groth. Fouls one away right away, 0 and 1 the count on him. There's a ground ball over to third base. Dillinger has it, throws to first for the out. And we go to the bottom of the eighth. And Dizzy Trout will come in. Boy, there's a name we haven't seen for a while, Dizzy Trout, um, who uh, must have been pretty old by 49, I'm about to say. 0-2 oh, is a count on Garver, and uh, pardon me for a second. Hi there, sorry about that. Uh, another one of our famous interruptions. I was just looking at Dizzy Trout, who's 34 years old, um, and uh, my wife called to uh, have me make dinner, so there you go. Um, and uh, now we're going to see how Trout does here against Garver, and uh, Ned has an 0-2 oh, count on him, 1-2 as that one misses. And there's uh, another pitch in the dirt. It's 2-2 two and two now. And that's low and away. Full count now on Garver. And boy, that uh, phone call really got to Trout because he lost the pitcher on four straight pitches after being up to, on him own, too. That'll bring up Jerry Pretty now. Pretty comes up there and takes a uh, pitch in the outside corner for a strike. And there's another one in there for a strike. Own to the count now on Jerry. Fouls one away. Still own two. And uh, that changeup just misses. One and two now the count on Jerry. There's a ground ball over to uh, Camp Bell. He goes over to uh, second for one, and then back to him at first for the double play. That'll bring up Les Moss. Six to three ball game. Moss with a ground ball over to Kell at third. He makes the play and throws to first for the out. We go to the top of the ninth. Here is Ned Garver pitching still up against uh, Vic Wirtz. Wirtz takes the ball. One and no the count, and there's one fouled away. One and one now on Wirtz. Slider is low. Two and one the count on him. Then he chases after that fastball, two and two, and there's a little ground ball over to Pretty Pretty at second base, has it, throws to first for the out, one away. That'll bring up Dick Wakefield. Ball in there to Wakefield, one and no the count, and there's a sinker low, two and no on Wakefield, and that's fouled off. Two and one the count now on Dick, and he hits a little uh, fly ball over there to uh, center field. Seavers can't quite get to that one, and uh, by the time he does, Wakefield is in there at second base with a double. So it's Neil Barry up there now as the Tigers trying to come back, and he's going to be replaced by Pat Mullen. Pat Mullen hitting 250 so far this season, and he hits a fly ball over to Seavers in center field for the second out. That'll bring up Johnny Lipon. And there's a ball in there to Lipon at 1 0 the count. And there's one pulled foul. 1 1 now the count on Johnny. And uh, there's a check swing, and he didn't go on that one. 2 1 is a count on him. And that misses low. It's a 3 1 count on Johnny, and that's a bit low as well. And so. Uh, that means there's runners on at first and second. Garver starting to uh, labor a little bit, and uh, Dizzy Trout is going to be replaced by Don Colloway. Don Colloway, who uh, I probably should be starting a little bit here since he had almost 500 at-bats, takes a strike. Colloway just looking at him really quickly as the uh, second baseman. Who do we have playing second base for uh, Detroit? I'm not even quite sure who I started. Um, and uh, we can actually figure this out here if we go take a look here at the box score. I've been uh, starting uh, Neil Barry. So uh, if we look here at uh, the uh, lineup and see Barry, and yeah, you see he has only 329 at-bats, we might want to actually start uh, starting Callaway instead. This is uh, sort of learning the lineup as you go. I haven't done the research I'm supposed to do before the uh, season. 1-1 one and one is now the count on Callaway. And uh, there's a line drive just foul. 1-2 and two now the count on Don. And uh, that one's just tied for a ball. 2-2 two and two the count on him now, and that's off the plate. Full count now on him. And, uh, boy, Garver misses outside with that one, and that's ball four, and that'll bring up Hoot Evers. Now the bases are loaded, and, uh, man, oh, man, the bases are juiced now, and uh, this is not what you want to happen, man. This is uh, not good, not good indeed, and uh, that uh, makes this game a lot more intense, and it's a lot more uh, dramatic now. Callaway here in the top of the ninth, represents the uh, potential uh, tying run at first base, and Evers, the uh, hitter, could be the go-ahead run. 
There is a strike to Evers, two out here, by the way, top of the ninth, and a ball, one and one the count. Of course, we're sticking with Garver, two and one now the count on Evers. There's the one hopper over to Dillinger at third base. He has that one and steps on the back for the out, and that's your ball game. Browns win this one, six to three. First game of the doubleheader. We'll be back with you two days, uh, well, not tomorrow, but the day after uh, with the uh, second game. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I certainly have. That was a lot of fun. Talk with you then. Bye-bye.